It started last year. Grade 2 has animals in the science curriculum. So we started with some chicks that we watched grow up and I noticed uh, how the students wanted to read more about and the questions that, that they asked and what an opportunity it was for me to say, let's read it in a book, let's look it up. All right, you read a page and we're, we're going to listen. Digging tunnels was what Mole did best. Always on the lookout for juicy worms for breakfast. And I noticed that their writing was starting to, uh, they wanted to write about the chicks and stories. Um, so this year we brought, uh, we've been bringing in uh, a different animal every few weeks uh, and we take out the books and the students are able to read and they're, uh, they choose to write stories about them and it's just wonderful to see them so engaged in the books and so excited about reading. Tell us what animals have you been bringing in and where are all these uh, furry friends coming from? We've had. Uh, a wide variety of animals come into the classroom. Uh, we've had uh, gerbils and uh, frogs and toads. We've had salamanders and rabbits. Um, we've also had some farm type animals. We've had chickens and roosters, frizzles, and uh, Molly our goat came uh, for a visit before Christmas. They are my animals from home. Uh, we have a large collection of inside uh, animals. So talk a little bit about the reality action of the students so far. You've talked about how they've been more engaged, but maybe just um, elaborate a little bit on that. The students are so excited uh, to see, and whenever a Monday comes around and it's time for a new animal, uh, it'll be exciting. I usually keep it a surprise, and on Monday they can't wait to get in here and see the animal and go to the shelf and fill their book bins with uh, books on whatever animal um, we are have for that chunk of time. Are there any stories that you've seen so far of some of your students that stick out in your mind that, boy, th this is really what I was hoping to achieve going this way, because this is totally unique. I think one of the ones that sticks most in my mind uh, would be one of my little reluctant readers, uh, and uh, one day I, I'm trying to get him uh, to be engaged in reading during the Daily Five, uh, I looked over at him and said, how about we go get a book and we read to the ferret? And he got a book from the listening center and he puts one of the little earbuds in his ear and he tucks the other one into the cage and they're listening to the book together and it was just beautiful. Oh